let's look at some of the amazing ways Facebook is using artificial intelligence and data to really improve their business. Facebook has become one of the most powerful, one of the most successful businesses of our time and they are using artificial intelligence and some of the latest innovations in AI, things like machine learning and deep learning to really make a difference to their business. And it helps them to really understand their customers, us as their consumers, and what we are interested in, what we are like, which then obviously helps them to sell advertising because any company that wants to deliver an advert to a specific demographic living in this area with interest in those and those and those areas, Facebook can now provide that. So some of this um, has some real privacy concerns and I'm not sure Facebook is getting this right at the moment um, or I'm pretty sure they're not getting it right. They're working on this very hard because potentially if they don't get this right it could threaten their entire business model. But I thought Let's put the privacy concern to a side for a little bit because I've talked about this in other videos and written about this in other articles and just talk about some of the ways they use and can use technology now to really understand customers and deliver better service. They have been working on um, something called deep text. So they're using deep learning to understand text and what we are writing in our status updates. And DeepFace can not only understand what we are saying in our status update, but also the sentiment and the emotions that we're putting into it. So they can now distinguish between a post that I sent to someone else that says something negative or says something bad. They also understand all of our connections and potentially the relationship we have with them. So from a Facebook perspective, they can now predict with almost 100% accuracy your level of intelligence. They can predict whether your parents are divorced or not. They can predict your religion. They can predict your sexual orientation and so on and so on. So they know a lot about you. They can even predict about two weeks before you change your relationship status from single to in a relationship. And if you think about this, the way you interact, suddenly you have new connections, the, what you're saying to each other, all of these are, are things that give this away. The sentiment analysis of all of this also allows them to understand whether someone might be depressed or suicidal. And this again comes with some responsibility. So they are now starting to put processes in place. If their uh, machine learning algorithms detect that you might be depressed or suicidal, they can now point you to some resources and they're thinking about what, what their responsibility as a business actually is to deal with all of this. So they understand text. But we are also uploading lots of images and lots of photographs and videos to Facebook and they again have used deep learning to improve their um, machine vision capability. So this is something they call deep face. So they can now understand what your face looks like, especially if you've uploaded or you've been tagged on a number of photographs, they know what you look like. Their machines will create a 3D image of your face and then scan the rest of the internet to find other pictures of you. So what they could do is they could say, okay, we know what you look like, and their face recognition capability has now superseded human face recognition capabilities. So Facebook's algorithms are better able to recognize you on a photograph than your friends could. So what they can now do, that, do that, what they can do is they can scan the rest of the internet to find other pictures of you on Twitter, on websites, on somewhere else, on Instagram. And they will then realize, okay, there, there are some other people that are on the same photograph that are on Facebook too. Maybe you know them, so therefore we will make a friend suggestion. They also use sensor technology in our phones. So they will use our GPS sensor, for example. So they, if you have the Facebook app on your phone, they know where you are. And they also know if other Facebook users are close by. So if you just had a barbecue at a friend's house, they pretty much know this, that you have spent some time in a residential area with these other Facebook users. And therefore, 
they might make a friend suggestion. So they know where you live, what you like, what your interests are, how intelligent you are, what your religion is. So this is giving them a hugely powerful platform of 1.3 billion users or so across the world and exactly what they like, what they're interested in and, and so on. So this is why they are such a profitable business at the moment because what happens is that lots of companies are now using this intelligence to have better, more targeted ads. The other thing that Facebook wants to do now, especially after some of the issues around Cambridge Analytica and leaking data, so they now want to make sure that they're using this technology for the good of, of the world and for the good of all of us. So one of the latest um, innovations that they have introduced is that they can now identify things like revenge porn. This has been an issue um, that people basically upload videos of someone having sex that was never, uh, no one has ever been uh, or has never given any permission to share this information. And if you think about this, machines can now very easily identify this. So they, a few years ago, Facebook designed an algorithm to identify nudity. They can now understand who is on this photograph. They can understand some of the text that goes with it, and they can shut this down immediately. And this is something they're working on now to almost do this in real time so you can't easily share this. The other thing they're working on is fake news. This is becoming an, an, an increasingly big problem in, around the world that people spread fake videos, fake, fake information and again their algorithms are now getting better. They can now understand what you're saying, who you're sending it to, what the sentiment is and you can actually compare this with real facts and saying this looks like real information, this looks like fake information and they can cut this off straight away. Some of these things are in still early development, but there's hope. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what Facebook can now do with artificial intelligence and big data. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real world case studies and examples.